Good afternoon. Uh, welcome back to Senate Education. Today is uh, Wednesday, March 10th, 346 in the afternoon. Uh, we are back and going to uh, continue our work by having a, a walkthrough of an amendment to S16, which is the school discipline bill. Uh, this is an amendment that um, Senators Ballant and Hardy and others uh, have come to me to talk a little bit about uh, data collection and the need for uh, greater data collection. I uh, apologize, I must have uh, missed the boat on this. I, I do remember hearing testimony around the collection of data and aggregating uh, that data. Um, aggregating, is that the word I want here? Mr. Demer? Yeah. Yes, thank uh, you. Disaggregating, yeah. It's aggregating, thank you, the data, yes. And so, uh, um, that is what this amendment does. And uh, I will let um, colleagues, anyone who is interested in co-sponsoring this with Senators Hardy, Campion, and Ballant, please feel free to do so. And with that, uh, Mr. Demaray, if you don't mind taking us through the amendment. Sure, do you want me to put this up? Would you be so kind? Sure, yeah, can, you, can I share the screen? Great, thank you. Let's see. Okay, uh, for the record, uh, Jim Damer of this console, we're walking through, ooh, nope, so we're not walking through that one, sorry. That one. Um, one second, please. Let me just pull this up again. Is, is what's on the website the right draft, Jim? It, it, it is. I just ha I had it open and it sh shut down. So I was trying to get it open again to share it with you. Would you prefer, uh, Jim, that we just use our, with, uh, our iPads? Uh, I don't prefer either. Um, I have it right here. Okay, great. Let me just get, get this open. And then minimize that. Okay, and then... Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Um, so for the record, uh, Jim Demarelis Consul, we're walking through... Uh, an amendment uh, on behalf of Senator Campion, Ballant, Hardy, and Hooker to uh, amend the report of your committee on um, S-16. And what this does is it amends certain of the powers and duties of the task force. So it's striking out um, subsection D in its entirety and inserting this language here Beginning on, line, beginning on line seven. So there are no changes until we hit the yellow highlighted parts. So all this is the same as in the um, your report, your amendment um, by the committee. But we go down to here and now we get into some different language. So uh, we're in the subdivision that has the task force compiling on a school district and approved independent school basis the available data and the data collection processes regarding suspensions and expulsions um, and compiling additional data necessary to inform the work of the task force, including a number of things. So one was every four, uh, total number of instances of expulsions and suspensions in each grade, uh, total number of students in each grade um, who were expelled or suspended and the number of instances of expulsion, expulsion or suspension or both for each student, duration, uh, the infraction. And now with five, we get into some new language. So uh, five says now each instance of referral to enforcement authorities, uh, the juvenile justice system, uh, community justice center, state's attorney's offices, 
uh, Department of Children and Families or other juvenile justice related authority. And then six is new, it says each instance in which a civil, criminal or juvenile citation was the consequence for a school related, related infraction. And seven, each instance in which an excluded student received re-educational services, as well as the duration of re-educational services per day, per week, and per month. And then F was every four, um, has to recommend changes to, to data collection. And G was every four, which is a re reviewing how other states address exclusionary discipline. Uh, and now two and three are, are new. So two is where we disaggregate data. Yeah. So it says all data spef specified in subdivision 1E, and that's the entire entirety. So when we say 1E, we mean all, all this data here, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way through here. So all that data shall be in a disaggregated format by at a minimum, the following subgroups and categories to the extent permitted by federal and state privacy laws and to the extent information is available. So that would be uh, people who are white, black, Hispanic, uh, American Indian, Alaska Native, Asian, Pacific Islander, Hawaiian Native, low income or, or reduced lunch, limited English profici proficient or English language learner, migrant status, students receiving special education services, um, students on uh, IEPs or uh, education plans under 504, um, gender, sexual orientation, uh, foster care st status, homeless status, and grade level. And then specified in that same division, 1E, shall be cross tabulated by a minimum the function of groups and categories to the extent permitted by federal and state private school laws and the extent information is available. And that has to be done by school, school district, race, low income, free, low income or free or free or reduced lunch, limited English proficient or English language learner, Margaret Stays, um, students receiving special education services, students on a 504 plan, uh, based on gender, sexual orientation, foster care status, homeless status, grade level, behavior and fraction code, uh, intervention applied, and uh, educational, educational, educational services provided. And that is it. So I have run that language by um, Senators uh, Hardy and Ballant. Uh, and they're comfortable with it. Um, not looking for, uh, please, Senator Lyons. Are we going to hear from the Department of Health regarding the Youth Risk Behavior Survey? That's my first question. And because this is a significant um, amount of work uh, on their behalf, I, some of the work that they do is slightly different. They use a um, Remember, they use uh, individual survey data and self-reporting. So I don't know how this is going to fit with what they're doing. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. Um, the other, and and they may have other ways of collecting data that um, I'm I'm less aware of. So um, the other the other question I have is where it talks about disaggregated data information. Where did it go? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Um, well, I'm wondering if what we mean is aggregated by the following within the by the following groups. So, if you disaggregate it, it means you may be looking at individual individuals. So, I'm, I'm just, what is, the goal is to have an I, a identification of the number of uh, black, Hispanic, white uh, kids. But if you say it's disaggregated, that means you're going to have some identity. Um, so that's a question. Um, yeah. We can ask them there. They know the, the Department of Health does this all the time. Um, and then th those are the two big questions I have. 
Great. right now. And um, a lot of this stuff is available so that a lot of it won't be difficult to get. Yeah. And again, we're, we're, we're focused on, uh, you know, the yellow are the changes. Um, and um, I was going to have agency in um, and a few other uh, people. I did run it by uh, some of our advocates um, and those who have been working with us a little bit on, on this kind of thing, but uh, just wanted to, again, put it out there. Senator Chittenden. So I'm completely fine with this language, but similar to what Senator Lyons was just mentioning, I'm looking at page, the last page, page, oh, I'm sorry, page three of five, item yeah. ten, line 10, says yep. shall be in disaggregated format, but then it softens That's itself. It. But at the end, it says, and to the extent information is available. So I'm always worried with that shall, when I also remember hearing Secretary French saying the data collection can be problematic. And so he wanted as much leniency in the language. So that the shall gives me pause. Uh, but again, I, I yield to Jim and his expertise and how to write language like this. And the other comment I wanted to make is the re-educational. I've never heard of this term before, re-educational. But if that's a known term, um, then great. But if uh, I don't know if in definition, but re-educational services, that's unknown to me. Uh, Jim, did you want to say anything about the shawl or anything? I, I think the shawl is fine. I think you want shawl here, um, but it is conditioned based upon privacy and uh, availability. Yep. Okay. Senator Persley? Yeah, and I'm I'm a little confused about the cross tabulating part, and maybe it's just because I'm not sure exactly what cross tabulated means or what what I think it is. It just it seems like I understand cross tabulating when you have different data points, but you're cross tabulating some of the same thing, like race and race and migrat migration status and migration status. So. That, so we're looking that, on page four, just so everyone knows. Uh, yeah, so we have a list of things that need to be disaggregated, and then we have a list of that disaggregated data gets cross-tabulated by these other things, but so, a lot of those are the same. So I don't know if the goal is we do that so we can see which of these students have more than one of these characteristics, so you would know that they could have, a, you know, their, their race and their gender and their migrant status, that's the purpose of the cross tabulation. I, that's one question. And then the other point I have up, up in E on page two, uh, yep. line five, when it says compile on its school district and approved independent school basis, that, that makes it seem like that the data will be, I guess, compiled by school district by school district, but, but not you know, but by compiled, not disaggregated by the school district until you get down to that other section. Do you know what I mean? It seemed, I just didn't know if we're this, we're collecting the data in a disaggregated form as far as school district goes. Cause then down below we say disaggregated, cross tabulated the disaggregate data by school district. So right. that's my question, if it makes sense. Yeah, what no, it, 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 go ahead. So what's the goal? I mean, when you see the data, what do you want it to look like? That's the question. So you want to know by school district, the number of kids who are in each of these categories. You're not, and if you have a school that has one of them, that's going to be problematic. Right. That's why it says by permitted by federal and state. Private. Right. So, okay. but you do want to, so it, um, there we'll just have to the other thing is i don't know that well do you want to know specifically these numbers or is this something that if, if we're going to if people are going to go into individual schools and gather the data that's one thing so the school would have that information mm -hmm. uh if you're asking the department of health to do it they're going to do it more as i said before they probably they may do it by survey and mm -hmm. so they'll ask the kid, you know, are mm -hmm. you Hispanic? What is your uh, ethnic background or racial? 
how do you identify racially? Um, so they could say Hispanic or whatever. So yes, it would be important to hear from the people who are actually collecting the data to make some recommendations about how to um, how they would do it, because then that'll that'll may, yeah. maybe make some changes to the language. Well, I think. go ahead, Senator Bridgley. It does say it's compiling the data, so it's almost the way I read it is that they're not creating any new data; but they're just compiling the available data that's right out there. But are they going to put it? In, uh, just let me go back. Hold on. Go ahead. I'm just looking. <laughs> no, I, I think the only thing uh, you know I want to add is that um, we've got a you know a few days for this, a couple of days for this. Uh, wanted to get it out there. I was the one who worked with the with drafting this, uh, and as usual, completely open to suggestions, edits, uh, etc. But I will line up a few people for us to, to hear from tomorrow. Uh, Senator Lyons. Yeah. No, so I'm going back to powers and duties. And it okay. says. Uh, what page are you on? And on right, first page. Yeah. Right. A line eight. Yeah. So make recommendations to end suspensions and expulsions, but all for the most serious student behaviors. Correct. Okay. Taking into account the Vermont Youth Risk Sur Behavior Survey. Correct. Okay. So all the language okay. all right. I get it. voted out, save for the okay. yellow language again, yeah. which would okay. be the uh, the um, the amendment. And I think there are some some good questions uh, related to um, this, and I think we should have AOE, ACLU, Department of Health in tomorrow to to help us with this. So, please go ahead. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm still processing this because we've got the state's attorneys in here and I, I wanna ask why. Uh, could you just direct us to a line? I'm sorry, a uh, page sure. two, line oh, eight. Yeah. yeah, line 18. So, huh. So that would be something I think we'll probably get some feedback from, uh, from the ACLU on, on that. Yeah. Okay. Senator Hooker, I'm sorry, Senator Lyons, did you have something else? No, I mean, when we go through and we look at these things, we're always looking at the very most extreme. So we're looking at civil and criminal citations, Yeah. Um, which are in and of themselves sufficient for a kid to be put somewhere special or treated in a different way. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what we're trying to get at. That's all. Yeah, and I think, um, yeah, a couple of different things are happening here at once. It's the, you know, uh, just aggregating the, the data that I think Senator Ballant and others raised. Um, and then um, along the way, you know, there were a few other edits, but um, we can again adjust accordingly. Senator Hooker. I, um, originally, the bill I think was intended to gather more information about Vermont um, and compare perhaps it to the information that's already been gathered in other places um, because the, you know, the research shows certain things. So how do we compare with this? Are we doing um, you know, better or worse than other places in the country? And the complaint, it seemed to me, was that we didn't have the kind of information that was necessary to really understand what these uh, this type of discipline was how much it was occurring and what it was doing, what kind of effect it would have. And with regard to uh, the reference to you know states' attorneys and stuff, the idea that expulsion was directly related to an increase in juvenile um, uh, or juvenile activities that ended kids up in the court system mm -hmm. it's, you know something that we wanted to take a look at at least yeah. that's what i'm getting out of the bill so and i do share your concern and i know that the secretary had talked about the disaggregation that might lead to identifying you know personally identifiable information 
Um, we certainly don't want that, I don't believe, but how can we gather that information about people of color, people with disabilities, whatever, uh, and maintain the privacy? Yeah, as best we possibly can, yeah. So what we're really getting at are, is to characterize the kids who have been expelled or suspended in each grade by grade mm -hmm. level and then by characteristic. Mm -hmm. That's what we really want to know. So then the question is, if we don't have that information in the first place, so we know that somebody's been suspended, how many years back are we going? I don't know. Mm -hmm. who has this information it, it could, if it's on a, if it's on a record somewhere you have a name and you have a, a date and you have the period of suspension the only way you're going to know everything about these kids and all this information is if you know the kid just trying to figure out how we're going to get it all that's all because if we look going forward, we're going to get it because then. Yeah, and that's keep. what, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Talking okay. About we're, that, yeah. we're not talking about going back. Okay. Right. We're not talking about going back. We're just talking about Probably. going forward. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Nope. That's okay. It's, you know, this, this is all helpful. Um, Although it, it does mention that the, the task force will be able to get data from AOE, the data that they have. But again, the data seems to be incomplete. So I don't think we're going to get the disaggregated um, points that we would like to get moving forward. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for me, I want to know that I, I, the social issues and the social determinants are, for me, are so much more significant than, than some of the things that are listed here, frankly. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, no, 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 no. Yeah. So, is there someone addicted living in their home? That, yep. that that's a key question are they are they a, are they uh, in a family with a single parent that's significant mm -hmm. um just because you're hispanic doesn't mean you're that that that's not really going to be one of the i don't think it's going to end up being one of the driving characteristics but well so, we hope not you know yeah, that, well anyway we'll to find out yeah okay i know you've done a lot of work with aces center yeah. lions and you know do we do we make reference to, you know, those types of um, experiences mm. that kids have had? I mean, I, I it's tough. We... You know, it's tough to get there. Um, what it, the question? The, I just would ask the question: What is it that you want to know about these children that would help characterize them? with respect to suspen suspension and expulsion? Well, I, I think just speaking for myself, if we were to get data back that showed African-Americans and students of color, members of the BIPOC community, disabled, you know, uh, students, ESL students, ELS students are being suspended and expelled at a higher level, um, then, I mean, that, that's, that's powerful and important information. Oh yeah, no, I don't disagree yeah. with that. And, and that's, um, you know, I, I don't want to speak for for Senator Ballant, but I believe that was the, the genesis of. of uh, I absolutely uh, don't disagree yeah. with that. Right, right. All right. Well, we will table this uh, until tomorrow from uh, when we hear from more people, uh, and um, you know, again, this will likely be on the floor on Tuesday. So. Uh, a little bit of time to work on it and see if we can um, move in a direction uh, and make the amendment that uh, everyone is comfortable with. Yeah, so, and I think that um, if you look at the list, just going back to that list one more time on yeah. page three, um, some of these things are, are the things that we talk about the most and we're doing that currently within our social environment. The I guess I would want to put in here somewhere uh, a relationship to social determinants of health. Somehow th there's a link in there and I. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Maybe it's you, too much. I, I'm, I'm, you know, maybe, well, think about it. Some, think we can about let it. the house do it. I'm not. Well, think about it. You know, uh, it's, um, you know, again, we'll return to it tomorrow and we'll, uh, at that point, we'll hear from uh, some folks and we'll hopefully get okay. more clarification and then uh, hopefully to the point where we feel like we can, we have some kind of agreement by Friday, if not Friday, Tuesday, uh, Friday, actually. Uh, anything else at this point? Okay, thank you. Thank you.